Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Align Plans. Today we're playing with fountain pen inks, not plural, just singular. Um, we're going to be playing with one particular ink and as, you, as the title suggests, we're going to be doing a one ink, three pen kind of showdown. This is going to be a really quick little check-in to see how everything is going. Before I get to the ink itself, I wanted to kind of, I didn't realize that I don't have an actual swatch card created for it. So we will create a swatch card for it. I will show you how it writes with a dip pen and um, yeah. And then after that, I will ink all three of my pens and kind of do a quick little check-in on how things went in the next couple of days. So we can kind of see which pen did it actually perform in the best in. What I'm ultimately looking for is how smooth is the ink flowing through the pen, um, drying time, which is tend to be relatively important for me. I'm also going to be looking at um, skipping. Most of my pens, they don't skip. However, that's something that I've noticed that certain inks just don't perform as well or that the ink, the opacity isn't as great. So hence why we're going to be looking at three of them. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So the three pens that I'm gonna be using um, has a three different nibs, even though they sound the same, but they're really not. So first we have, uh, I'm always messing this one up. Um, first we have Franklin Kristoff. Um, this is in a medium nib. This is the collaboration that was done with Wonder Pens. I mainly like to just like put in an ink in here that I, when I really want like this rich color and I really want something to kind of just flow really freely, this is what happens with this medium nib. And next up we have my latest edition that I got for Christmas. This is the this is not a Yoseko, it's a Sailor Mint and Moroccan Tea collaboration or like series, I guess. Um, I did get it from Yoseko, but it's not a Yoseko collab. And this has a medium fine nib. And then last but not least, my tried and true uh, Pilot Prera. This is in a fine nib. It doesn't write like a fine nib. It more writes like, I would say this writes more like a, uh, a fine, I guess, and this writes, it doesn't write like a medium fine, this writes, writes like an extra fine. So if you know Sailor pens, they usually write a lot thinner than most pens. So hence why I wanted to kind of test out all three pens, see how things go. And after looking at all of your votes, first of all, thank you so much for voting if you have. Um, we have the Sailor Kangoyu as the ink that we're going to be kind of looking at today. And, and I mean, rightfully so. I do have a small little swatch card here, so you can kind of take a look. Here we go, hopefully it's focusing. I do have it in natural light as well. I don't think you can see it very well, so we're just gonna go and zoom in. So it's the middle one. Um, this is the one that actually got the most amount of... Um, maybe it's focusing. So this is the one that got the most amount of votes. Now keep this in mind because I will actually do a swatch and with a brush it will look totally different. And then we can also do a quick little dip pen um, swatch as well in a moment in my in my common planner because that has, um, well as many of you guys know, it has um, Toma River paper. Seriously, using a brush, it will never get old. So I can see why most of you voted for this. Here we go. Let's zoom in some more. I see why you guys voted for this because it has like the most interesting like, like color profile. So we're going to give this a few moments to dry again. So while that's drying, let's just take a look here.
the main thing or the main deciding factor will be once I actually ink it up into the three pens, give it a few days, and then we will know once and for all which pen did it actually perform really well in. I do have high hopes for this color, mainly because I know that it's going to look slightly different in the medium nib versus in the fine nib. I'm calling the Sailor fine only because that's how it writes. It writes like a fine or like an extra fine. It really never wrote like a medium fine. But anyway, that's just my, if you know, if you have Sailor pens, you already know that it writes a lot thinner or it writes a lot, yeah, a lot finer than, than most pens. So what I'm going to do is, plus most of my pens actually need to be cleaned out anyway. So I'm going to do that off camera. And then once I come back, we'll ink everybody up. I'm only going to add just a little bit of it because I'm, I'm only going to be using this for the next couple of days, but still that will be enough of a feedback for me to do a few journal entries to see how it performs in each of the pens. So let's go. And at the end, I will give you my final thoughts of which pen it actually performed my best, the best in. Personally, if I had to make a prediction, I think it's going to do really well in the Pilot Prera because it happens to be one of those pens that the ink just happens to flow so beautifully and effortlessly through this pen, regardless of which ink I'm, I'm putting in here. Um, I would also predict that it's going to be a little bit runny in here only because it's not that it's not that this ink is very runny or watery, but I think that I don't think that the I'm going to get as much of the richness. So like when you're looking at the swatch here, like I don't think I'm ever going to get to this richness. I think that it's still going to be way too sheared out for me to it's still legible nevertheless, but I don't know. I don't think that this is going to be as enjoyable of an experience as let's say something like the medium fine nib or like the sailor. So I think it's going to be a battle between the pilot and the sailor and see which one has like a more smoother writing experience. Cause that's ultimately what I'm looking for whenever I do these types of tests. And I'm always interested in seeing like how well it can perform in each of the pens and which one is the, is it the most suitable for it? Even though we always say that it's always suitable for all of the pens, but sometimes it's based on your preferences, at least in my opinion. Anyway, let me go and clean out some of my pens and I'll be right back. And by the way, if you enjoy videos like this one, when we're swatching inks, we're doing more of an in-depth review of fountain pen inks or pens, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't had a chance to just yet, because we kind of go into a little bit more detail here each week. So just, just as a quick heads up, if you enjoy videos like this, then make sure you subscribe. Okay, let's go. So I'm back you guys. I did turn on studio lights just so you can see a little bit better and this pretty much proves why we're doing this series, by the way. So I cleaned out the pens. I, I filled it up and I immediately remembered why I don't like certain pens. <laughs> oh my God. So now these are not my final thoughts, but we're like getting pretty close. So first of all, I wanted to just show you guys, here's the swatch. So you can see all the different color differentiations. You can see it when it's like nice and rich and and really saturated and here is here's the color profile when it's kind of sheared out which is why i like using a brush a lot of the times okay having said all of that so far uh i'm gonna show you the swatch from the ink the pilot Pereira because i'm able to push the ink through almost like the easiest at this point so the pilot Pereira is the middle one let me zoom in so you can really see. So this is the swatch with that. Let me just run over it. And you can tell that it is it is the color. You know what I mean? Like here's a new, new writing sample. Keep in mind, I'm not expecting this to look like a, like a rich, Here it is. So I'm not expecting this to look like a, a dark, rich brown color. I'm expecting it to look almost like this purplish color, right? Which is which is fine, but I want it to be still, I want it to be able to still read with it and I wanted it to be legible, which is ultimately what I'm looking for when I'm when I'm loading it into my pen. 
Now, so far, I did load it also into the sailor and this is the, the writing sample of the sailor. If it's not legible for you, it's because it's not legible. But here, we're getting there. So like sometimes it does take me a little bit, especially when I do an ink swap for the previous color to kind of go. And so here's the new writing sample sailor. Let me push some more ink through because sometimes that becomes an issue. So as you can tell, it's getting to be legible, but like, I hate this. Like I hate the writing experience with this. I hate how faint everything looks and it's because the nib is so fine, which is why I'm having a tough time really loading in really good colors in here. So I need to buy like darker and darker inks for this to really make it worth my while because everything gets so sheared out that ink swatches or fountain pen inks like this become barely legible, right? So this would be really beautiful if I wanted to sketch something, but as far as like writing in my journal, this is just not going to happen. And here my frustration with this pen has always been the same, that whenever I'm loading it, it doesn't come with a converter. So I emptied out like, I think this is actually a Kaweco, um, just a normal refill. And then, so for me to like completely clean this or even push ink through, it becomes next to impossible. So I just kind of have to hope and just keep playing with the pen until the ink sort of makes its way. See, as you can tell, like right now, this will swatch green because it, there was a green ink in there before. So right now, like I'm gonna have to kind of write with this a little bit until until we run through that green and then we actually switch over to this color. So this is exactly why I wanted to do this series. My initial thoughts is I would never load this ink color into either one of these pens because initially like the writing experience is already terrible without like even being able, to, first of all, it's not legible. And second, like it takes me forever to actually be able to see the color, but I will, I will keep playing with it. I'm gonna give it a couple of days. So I will check back in as my final thoughts on how everything went. But first, like first impressions, uh, it's doing really, really well in the Pilot Pereira. So if you have a pen like this, where the ink just flows a little bit easier, this one behaves like that. Kawakos are fantastic like that. And even the Ferris Wheel Press has pens like that. And this is actually in a fine nib where the ink flow is just significantly easier. Oh, I should also add Lamy's. Lamy's are very much like that as well. So there's a, quite a few options. If you're looking for something like an easy fl ink flow type of pen where it's not going to be like such a dried up experience. Like if you love almost like this, Juice, I don't want to use the word juicy, but like if you really like it when the ink flows easier and smoother when you're writing, then this would this would probably do really well with this ink. But I will check back in at the very end and I will give you my final thoughts. So let's go. So here's a quick little update. Now that I've had a few days to just kind of play with the colors. Okay, um, so I have the good news and the not so great news, which is kind of why we're, we're doing this actually, so that we can see which ink not to load in which pen. So let's start first with, um, I always feel like calling, so with Christoph Franklin. I, I could not use this pen. Like for the life of me, I was running this with swatches and as you can tell, that the green, is still in there. This was forest green that was loaded in there. So no matter what I did, like I wiped it out, I reloaded it anyway. So for me to clean this, it's such a pain, mainly because it has like a little cartridge. You know what I mean? It, it, do, it doesn't have um, 
a converter and so that's kind of why I like to just stick with like darker colors when I'm when I'm loading this pen so I swapped that out for the ferris wheel press uh, pen and this seems to be going a little bit better I didn't realize that I thought I cleaned it out really well but apparently I didn't so this one still has blue left in it but Here's what she looks like. So this is kind of a mix between Twilight and um, Kangayu. But the thing is that like they are like in the same color palette, the same color family. So here's a close up of Kangayu, which is the one that we're talking about. But I mean, I have to say like overall, like the writing experience with, th with this pen has been so pleasant that I would actually be okay with filling it into this pen. And then a close second is actually the Pilot Prera, which we've had like great success with. And as you can tell, the swatch is beautiful. The writing experience is great. It, the writing is, is legible. So it just, this ink would actually be really, really suitable for the Pilot Prera. And some disappointing news. <laughs> I was expecting, a, I'm not even sure what I was really expecting from Sailor, to be honest. I, I had such high hopes for this pen. So here in, keep in mind, this is a medium fine nib pen. And it just, it's barely legible, guys. Like, it does not, it's not cute. It's, it's just, I don't know. I'm just, it feels, it doesn't feel like the ink flows as well as I would like it to. And I pushed enough ink through and yet it's still, it just feels like we're just trying so hard to get some color. So ultimately, I guess like the main takeaway is to find pens when you have colors like this, where they can, the shading can kind of sway into like multiple directions. It can be really faint, like as a purple, or it can be like a nice, rich, darker, purplish gray. So if this is the color that we're working with, then my overall recommendation, when it comes right down to it, don't go for a medium nib pen because it may go either way and it might be too runny, which would essentially dilute the color. Go for something like a, a fine nib pen. Pilot and Ferris wheel press happens to be two of my pens. And I mean, I would love to also add Kaweco into the mix as well because the ink flow just happens to be a lot smoother when it comes to that. And so with a color like Kangayu, it just, these two combination just works really, really well. Even though it's a really stunning color, but it's just a reminder that with the really fine nib pens, we want to be careful because eventually, if the color is so faint, it's literally not going to be legible, if that's what you're using it for. Can I use this, this color in this pen and use it for sketching and make it like cute little thin little art? 100%, but that's not really how I was actually planning on using this pen. I was planning on just literally just journaling within within my books and within my journals. So if that's the case, this gets washed out to me way too much. Like here's a nice close up. So you can barely, like I can see this, but it's barely legible at this point. So to me, that's not really what I'm personally looking for. So just kind of keep that in mind when you are selecting inks and when you're selecting fountain pens to load it in because i have run into this issue so many times where i create like my full color palette for the month and sometimes i have to swap out the colors into a different pen not because the color it doesn't work but because the color does not work with that combination of the pen and the color so like the combo is just not the right fit so i hope that you guys found this helpful useful let me know in the comment section below out of all four of these out of all four of these pens which which swatch did you prefer the most for your writing style 
for me, the clear winner has to be, and it's, it's kind of a tie between Pilot and Ferris Wheel Press, but I'm sort of leaning a little bit more towards Fer Ferris Wheel Press than I am to Pilot. But with Pilot, I can 100% tell what color I'm actually using. So let me know in the comment section below, out of all four of these pens that we tried today, which one has been your favorite? I would love to hear from you. And of course, if you have enjoyed this video, you can support the channel in a multitude of ways, more importantly, by just being here and hanging out with me and just keep planning, keep journaling. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.